going on, dude? Uh, Croft War Sports Reporter and Anchor. But maybe not for too long. Not for too long. The pride of Lowell High School. City girl. Crot four. Say it ain't so, Kate. Say it ain't so. <laughs> I never thought it would happen. I'm leaving the Bay. Um, but, you know, it, it, I can't complain too much because I get to go to what a lot of people say is the greatest city in the world. Oh, the most overrated city in the world? What city is that? <laughs> I had a feeling that that's what, how you guys might feel about it. <laughs> I didn't say anything. Then it's okay. We want to bring you on because we love you. We love the work you've done over the last five years. You've really grown in your role. I worked a lot with you at Cron 4. You gave me an opportunity to get some shine on the tube. Uh, you've done a hell of a job covering the 49ers, covering the Warriors, Stanford. Whatever happens in the Bay Area, you've been all over it alongside Jason Dubas. So, Kate, I want we want to send you a proper send-off. Where are you going? You're going to New York City, but what are you going to do in New York? Well, hopefully, uh, you know, continue covering some iconic teams. I've been so lucky because when I've been in the Bay Area, the Warriors were amazing. The the Niners were amazing. The Giants and the Sharks made the playoffs while I was there. And, of course, you, you went to Stanford, got to cover some great women's hoops teams. Um, so hopefully I'll get to keep covering some good teams there. They've had some ups and downs over the years, but uh, I'm going to – a station called Pix 11, an old school iconic station that a lot of my New York friends say they grew up watching. Oh. So I'm really excited to go there and cover those teams. To be fun. Big city. Heck yeah. Huge city. Losing another great reporter, Shasky. Why does everybody want to leave us, man? I, I don't know. I don't know. Kate, what, what you know? I don't want to leave you guys. I, that was a really hard part of the decision. Oh. I talked to my husband. And I was yeah. like, I just can't leave Fontaine Shasky. No, that's that, that, that's a lot. That's that, a bigger lie to be no, 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 for a <laughs> What's an opinion that one of us has had that you've wanted to rip our throats through the radio? <laughs> oh, man, that's a really good question. Um, actually, a better question might be, what's an opinion where I haven't wanted to rip your <laughs> throats through the radio? Um, no, honestly, I feel like you guys are on point. A lot of the time when I listen to you, I find myself kind of nodding my head and being like, yeah, they know what's up. I mean, you guys, are, you guys keep it so real. You're two Bay Area guys. You speak for, I think, what a lot of the fans are thinking. And... Um, you know, they're lucky to have you. So, yeah, most of the time, I think I end up agreeing with you. I, I, I hope that uh, that doesn't sound too pedantic, but it's true. You guys know what you're talking about. All right. Who was a jerk to you? Of the, no, I'm just teasing. <laughs> of, the, of the athletes. <laughs> That's no. probably the question I get asked the most often. <laughs> oh, trust me. I, uh, I I leave the chop out on personal conversations. But I, 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 yeah. <laughs> what is the highlight of your time at Cron? I've been thinking about that a lot lately. Um, I think I have a, a couple, if I could share a couple. Absolutely. Um, one of them is, of course, covering two NFC championship games. Um, or, sorry, what am I talking about? I, I was there for three. Um, but the one in Philly stands out to me the most mm. because that was just like, remember how crazy it was with Brock Purdy taking over? Emotions were so high. Philly fans were so sure that the Niners, you know, um, couldn't come in there and do anything. And of course, unfortunately we all know how that ended up going down, but I still believe that if Brock Purdy hadn't gotten hurt, things might've been really different in that situation, but it was just electric. And I loved getting to go there and feel the energy of the uniqueness of Philly fans and what they're like and how much 49er fans came and showed out and stood up to them. And um, that was just an incredible experience that I'll never forget. Um, another one for me was a story that I got to do just a couple months ago, actually the Kristen use check story. Um, oh yeah. Had the, Stroke of luck with some good timing on that because Taylor Swift wore her jacket right after I interviewed her. We dropped the interview that week and she blew up like a couple days later. And just getting to meet her and watch her career ascend has been absolutely incredible. The used checks are just such great people. Going to miss covering Kyle for sure. Um, but yeah, those are a couple probably of my highlights. I mean, I spent the most time with the Niners, so I got a lot of a lot of Niners highlights. But so many moments that I will absolutely never forget. Who's the Grant Cone of the New York Yankees beat? I, aren't they all like Grant Cohn? <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm expecting anyway. <laughs> so are you going to be the Danny Lombardi? I don't know. Lombardi. i got to get out there and figure it out. No, she's going to do that. I'm teasing. Do that. I'm teasing. Then, Kate, Kate, did you ever <laughs> hey, think, I though? Can't. You know, we all dream of being in this position one day. If you grow up loving sports, especially this city of San Francisco, we all want to do great. But when you started this business and you got into this profession, did you ever believe that one day you'd end up in New York City, the media capital of the That's world? That's a good question. You know what? I can honestly say no. And my whole goal when I first got into this business was to just be able to talk about sports for a living. I had no idea what that would mean. It was totally surreal to me and a dream when I got the opportunity to do that in my hometown in San Francisco. 
I know you guys know how that feels. Mm -hmm. It's just an unbelievable feeling. And there were so many times that I thought that I would absolutely never leave. Why would you? It's, it's an incredible city. I think it's the greatest city in the country. The teams are so much fun. The fans are so passionate. Um, and it's my home. But I don't know. When New York City comes calling, you gotta you gotta answer. I mean, honestly, even before I got the offer, I didn't I didn't know it was gonna happen. <laughs> it was just one of those things that kind of fell into my lap in a way, and uh, couldn't pass up the opportunity. And so, no, it's still totally surreal to me. I don't think I'll believe it until I'm off the plane, bacon, egg, and cheese in hand, <laughs> looking at the New York skyline. Um, but I feel so lucky to have this opportunity because, you know, I know a lot of people dream of making it to New York City and here I am and I'm just going to ho- hopefully try to do the, the sports teams and the fans in New York proud. So is Lowell High School called you to be inducted into their Hall of Fame? They better. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> whoa. Look at the confidence right there. Oh, my God. You hear that I've little seen, high I've school? I've seen some people the on Kate that wall. Rooney I've never heard of half the people on that wall. Wow. <laughs> Hey, watch their high school. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Wow, look at that. Okay. Hey, 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 while we're at it, since we're here, USC, hey, what's up, man? Call K. Rudy. Fight song. on. Come give on, me give me the song. song here. Fight on. I met some <laughs> USC fans last night. USC, baby. They'll be playing in Maryland, Kate. They'll be playing Rutgers soon. Maryland. You can play. Go watch Nobody them in Rutgers in New Jersey. Maryland. You're so close. Oh, I'm going to be fighting on so hard. I'm going to get to see more of my USC Trojans than I did on the West Coast. I never thought such a thing would be possible. It's probably going to take me a lot longer to end up on the USC Wall of Fame because they've got some very distinguished <laughs> alumni there. But you know what? They say work until your idols become your colleagues. And so that's what I'm going to try to do. Try to end up on that USC Wall of Fame. That's my goal. Right next to LJ. <laughs> no, uh, why, why would you, you oh, just have to? No. Thought maybe, I'm I don't teasing. Know, why, 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 that was a great joke. Why'd you tell bad jokes? But that was why you just you're joking. Spidoni that wasn't. Listen, me. this is the problem with Shazzy. This is what I have to deal with, Kate. Hopefully you don't have to deal with this in New York City. We do the little private show during the show. And guys are sharing secrets. And Shasky, he's going to get, I think, I swear, there's people out there who think, Shasky's the reason why I got yelled out by Draymond Green. I boosted uh, uh, listen, listen, wow. listen, he you talking can't, to me? He can't help himself for taking the hello, Higgins. So I apologize for Joe Shasky, Kate, to put you in that position. I think we love it. Shasky and I share a very similar sense of humor. Exactly. And, uh, oh, my I'm, God. Uh, exactly. That's, that's not good, Kate. Kate. Don't I, I admit that. Listen, hey, Kate, don't listen, admit that out loud. you got a softball knocked up for you, you got to hit it, right? Exactly. Oh, my gosh. Oh my I tee gosh. it up, she knocks him down. Oh and here's the key, Bonte. <laughs> you know, you have to understand when you are a USC alum and Lincoln Riley is dodging and ducking LSU and doesn't want to oh put boy. him on the schedule, what the hell is oh going boy. on there? I, I don't even want to get into it. I mean, talk about a situation where aspirations are so high and, and things are just already going to hell. Like we, we, when Lincoln Riley got hired, it felt like the best hire USC had had in a decade, more than a decade. And we had Caleb Williams, the best quarterback to play there in years. Number one overall draft pick. You squander him. Nothing happens. You can't get your defense figured out. You keep a defensive coordinator who clearly isn't up to the job and you lose your window and. Yeah, now they're dodging bullets, like you said. So, so uh, we're not feeling good. We're not feeling too good over there. Like Aaron Judge, Kate's like, yeah, New York's better than San Francisco. Now I'm just thinking about it's okay. it. okay. You can go to Aaron Judge, like, yeah, I feel you for that question. So, Kate, guys. here's what I want to know. Everybody is <laughs> asking about your highlights, okay? What people don't see are the lowlights. And me and Bonte talk about this all the time. Like, they don't see the prep at 3.30 in the morning. They don't see us, you know, exhausted because we stayed oh. up till 1 o'clock at night uh, getting yelled at by Draymond or whatever it is in a lost <laughs> season. What was the saddest game you ever covered? Oh, man. Um, well, ironically, I think the saddest game I ever covered is also the one that I just mentioned as a highlight. I mean, the, the NFC championship, NFC Brock Purdy getting knocked yeah. out, yeah. you know, um, getting, his, getting hurt, them trying so hard to make something happen, Christian McCaffrey trying to get into that end zone and reignite the fan base and reignite something, and it just didn't happen. I mean, that was just so depressing. Um, I think we all, even reporters, we felt depressed because we didn't get to see the game that we wanted to see play out. You know what I mean? Um, but there have been a lot of sad moments, too. I mean, I've, you know, I've seen some guys get arrested. That's been tough. Um, seen um, the, the, the Giants are a perfect example. I mean, the, the optimism when they were in the playoffs a couple of years ago and couldn't get it done against the Dodgers, like that felt kind of like a golden opportunity that didn't pan out. That was sad. Um I don't, yeah, there's been some really big letdowns too. And, and the grind is real. I mean, we're, we're all working on little sleep here. No one more so than Bonte, obviously. I still don't know how you do it, but, um, you know, I've, I've spent the last five and a half years lugging around camera gear everywhere I go. Yeah. <laughs> um, that takes a toll on you yep. <laughs> mentally and physically. And, um, 
it's hard work, but um, at the end of the day, it's worth it because it doesn't. It actually doesn't feel like work most of the time. You guys know. Yeah, we do. My low moment in my career uh, in media was doing Warrior post games. <laughs> Kai Bowman, Amari Spellman, oh Eric Paschal. I mean, when when Steph comes back from this broken hand, they might have something here. <laughs> it was that of the A's games. Oh uh, yeah. Oh god. How could I forget? I I literally. I, I mean, I don't know if the A's games were the status thing I've ever been to, but yeah. I mean, walking through the Coliseum, I was just telling someone the other day when you walk to the bottom of the stairs out of the um, clubhouse, you are like at the bottom of the stairs, and I don't know if you guys know. No matter what, it could be the driest day of the year, like 90 degrees out and the bottom of the stairs are wet and squelchy <laughs> and your, your J's are getting messed up. And like, you just are trying not to step in puddles oh my God. and you're worried if you try eating the hot dog there in the press box and you're like, yeah. am I going to be okay later? I don't know. But mm. I do want to give a shout out to the A's PR team. They, they've done the best they can. They're amazing yeah, to work with. No um, and the players are optimistic. Mark Cotte always has a great attitude, but, uh, yeah, it, it's pretty rough covering games there. <laughs> so, Kate, when is your last day at Cron 4 and when are you heading to New York City? When is it Already official? had it, Bonte. Wow. It's, it's been wrapped up. Yeah, yesterday was my last day at Cron 4. I turned in my badge. I said goodbye. Wow. Um, lots of tears. My coworkers got me a couple different cakes. That was that was wow. really cool. Um, Hopefully from so Batch's Steakhouse. I'm actually up in Tahoe right now. Oh, getting a little break what? in. Oh, oh. Wait, yeah, is is wait, time out. Incline, South Shore, North Shore, where you at? Crystal Calling Bay. you guys from Carnelian Bay, just oh, a couple minutes out of Tahoe City. Family well, money. I like that. I like oh, that. Well, she's got New York money now. <laughs> I'm New, York money now. New York money now. New York money now, baby. <laughs> Big Apple buddy. It starts his log you out here in You know what my theory is on Tahoe. Let's get there. I'm going to have to... If I call you next summer from the Hamptons, then you'll know things are going real well. Oh, my God. God. Oh my, my theory God. on Tahoe, <laughs> if I can't go for four days, it's almost not worth the drive. Yeah, we that, that's it. Four days, exactly. We got up here at, like, almost midnight last night, which was pretty rough. And, um, you know, then the kids never sleep well here. So, you know, talking about running on a little sleep, that's what I'm doing. But, hey, I'm still in one of the most beautiful places nice. in California. Nice and I got another week before I head out to New York. So. Okay. Get best enjoy California in the Bay as much as possible. Kate, best of luck to you. We love you. We'll be rooting for you. We'll be watching you. We'll be seeing you on Twitter and Instagram, posting those great photos and great videos. We're proud of you, man. You're Practice. one of our own. Low High School. Get her in the Hall of Fame right now, damn it. I will do what I can <laughs> to get you in at the Low High School Hall of Fame. Then we'll work, we'll work on USC. But, Kate, thanks for everything you've done for us, what you've done personally for me. You helped me get comfortable on television. You're great at what you do, man. So best of luck to you, Kate, and the family, of Absolutely. course, out there in New York City. Love you guys. I'm going to miss talking to you. Um, I want to tell you and any 49ers fans, Synergies isn't there anymore, but they have a new bar, Plug Ugly. So hopefully everyone can come out there. And if you do, please come to New York. Let me know. We'll go hang out at Plug Uglies and watch a Niner game together or a Giants game. Um, I'm definitely excited to follow all my teams that I grew up with from afar and not have to cover them and maybe be a fan again in a different way. So week love one. you guys. You're so yeah. great. Thanks for always supporting me. Absolutely. Week one, Jets, Niners. Maybe you come back out here for another day football, but also... I'll be oh, out there. That'd late, be incredible. I'll be out there in late August for the little U.S. Open. So maybe I'll see you in Flushing Meadows. I hope I'll see you then. Let's see you in go. Queens. Let's All right, go. guys. Keep keeping it real. All right, Kate. Yeah. Thank you so much. See ya. Best of luck to you, Kate Rudy Wood. One of the best out there, man. Best of luck to her. We like to do that on the roast, and we like to get Duke into.